Next up, we um, are speaking to the Cavendish ca uh, candidates. So we've got Usman Mahmood and Ranu As Aso Rashid. Okay, first up, um, as some of you, I'm sure lots of you know that we actually did a, uh, a smoke radio election debate last night. So um, uh, loads of people got in contact using the hashtag UWSUVote. Um, and we're actually going to listen to what these guys had to say last night. What's your flavour? Tell me what's your flavour? This is Smoke Radio's election debate. Next up, we hear from the Cavendish candidates. Um, so what I've done over the past year, I've set up a brand called Career Links. We are launching that very soon. I've collaborated with other societies to host, host employability events, uh, the Law Society being one of them. The intent behind me putting that quotation in my manifesto was it's the idea of encouraging students to empower themselves. And as the current sabbatical officer for Cavendish would know, it is all about empowering the students. How do you feel about this pay cut? Because obviously your pay is going down. Um, it's not a, a, a massive issue for me. Um, I live at home with my family, so it's not a massive issue. I'm not have um, higher expenses such as rent and bills, but I do this job because I love my job. I, I love the job. I love to help students, to empower them, to lead them, and to help them in any way I can. Because as a sabbatical officer, you don't just do what you do. If the students want it done, it will be done. Period. Okay, so that was a little taste of what they had to say last night. Um, if you have any questions that you would like them to pick up on, please do let us know. But first, we are going to start with. Um, Usman, you have 45 seconds to just introduce yourself. <coughs> You'll introduce yourself, um, your, your name, what course you, or you're rerunning, so you might want to cover on that. Okay, yeah. Okay, good, everyone, um, good evening, everyone. Hope everyone's doing very well. Uh, my name is Usman Mahmood. I'm currently the Vice President of Cavendish, and I'm looking to run for my second term. I'm going to briefly go through my manifesto points is employability. I want um, employability to be really be, uh, a great part into your course. So industry awareness is really a key thing. So you are aware of what you need to do to get the career that you desire for when you graduate to make you more aware. Because unfortunately, a lot of our students at Westminster are graduating and not having the skill set or the uh, mind, or the skill set or the tools to help them secure the job in the graduate market. It is very competitive, and this is quite unfortunate. Um, I'm looking at a social space within Cavendish and improving our core space societies to allow for better networking. Along with that. I'm also looking at improving our feedback for our campus as it is uh, limited and does not really benefit our students when they get it back so okay, late. Okay, thank you. I'll have to stop you there. Sure, no worries. Um, <laughs> and now over to Ranu. Would you like to just introduce yourself and you have 45 seconds? Sure. Hi, my name is uh, Ranu Asa Rashid. Uh, I'm also running for the position of Vice President for Cavendish. Uh, the main themes of my manifesto is not just employability. Uh, because I have contacts in Sky News, ITN Productions, the BBC in terms of BBC News uh, and BBC Radio 4, but also the, the theme and the issue of social justice in the context of gender in inequality, which is also something that's making news at the moment in terms of smoke meter at the university. Um, and what I want to do is to carry out a pro-gender equality campaign that raises the awareness of the issue of homophobia, uh, encourages acceptance for the issue, uh, also create a society which someone yesterday pointed out is an intercourse related society which is correct for life sciences um, and okay, to Okay, thank make you Renu Thanks. for your, um, your introduction. So, uh, remember you can get in contact using the hashtag UWSUVote and we're going to start with a crash, uh, question for you. Um, you're planning to work closely with the LGBTI society yes. to conduct relevant events at Cavendish. Yes. Um, why do you think that this is a particularly Cavendish-based issue and what would these re relevant events be like? From what I've been told from, by students at Cavendish, even though a lot of us don't... A lot of us... Well, some people may think homophobia is not an issue. Actually, it's a very serious issue in Cavendish. Uh, even though we're a very, we, even though we're a university that's known to promote diversity, not just in terms of religion and politics, but sexuality, it is an issue that is a lot this, of students, scientists, being unsafe. Is this something that you've been, uh, you've sort of witnessed yourself, or I've been told by, I've it? been told by people who are homosexual that they don't feel safe. Okay. But they don't feel safe and they feel vulnerable. Even though something, a society like LGBTI is massive, they feel like a lot is not 
they feel like a lot has not been done. So what are the events that you're planning on running if you were to Well, I've elected? recently contacted Stonewall, and they'd like to get two spokesmen onto my show. I do the Saturday breakfast show for Smoke Radio. They'd like to get people on... Uh, they'd, like, they'd like to get people to come into the studio to talk about what they do and how young people, you guys, can get involved. Um, I'd like to network with LGBTI to encourage them to utilise uh, the assets of Smoke Media. It would not be propaganda, just like how any Is other society... something that was picked up on last night? Yes. Yeah. It's, I just want to make that clear, and I made it clear on Twitter. It would not be propaganda. It's just promoting free speech, just like how any other society can bring in a speaker to talk about what they believe, and any other society can do the same. Do you, do you think there's ever an issue with uh, free speech... Well, obviously, you have uh, someone who uh, promotes homophobia coming into the university. I think he's coming in just days before the National Student Pride event, which is coming up next week, for which I'm a live blog producer. So that's a bit unfair. And there is also a petition going around, so I've been told. OK, um, we are going to move over to Esmond now. Um, you seem to touch upon the feedback system quite a lot in yeah. your manifesto. I wondered how, you, uh, how would your proposed policies improve the flaws of the current system? Okay, so I've got, uh, two to th I've got three things in place that would help um, feedback for uh, um, exams and coursework. Uh, one is actually having a three-week deadline so you can receive your coursework and assessment back within that time. Um, this will allow you to sort of um, review it much quicker and get better feedback and realise where you went wrong. <coughs> Second thing, um, receiving your exams after you've done them is very near enough and possible. It's not, you can't take it away and that is an issue. So what I've decided to do is that we scan the papers that you've done so you can actually refer to them on Blackboard and that way you can see where you went wrong and how you can improve for next time and to progress further. Uh, my third uh, point is a recorded feedback. As some students are working full-time or part-time, they've got other responsibilities as family, they're able to uh, have their feedback recorded on black when they can refer to it later in the year when that sort of semester one module um, exam comes up in semester two, they can sort of be able to refer to it and take sort of um, action from that. Okay. Um so more more fee so is this something that you're aware from students telling you that feedback just isn't clear enough um yeah this is a problem we've had in fst um that the feedback is not clear or it's not consistent um across the board and um and it's not accessible it's not accessible it's not accessible and students are sort of continuously coming to my office and mentioning that their uh, feedback is quite it's, um the marking and the feedback is quite um it's quite um sort of not um consistent Okay, um, I think we uh, should uh, let, allow you to touch on um, uh, Rani's point about the LGBTI society and conduct a relevant event. Um, is this something that you sort of work on, the inclusivity of uh, students at all campuses? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm considered inclusive. Um, we did an event um, for Black History Month um, for a film screening of Call Me uh, We're also incorporating the LGBTI into the di our diversity month as well. So it's not something um, I'm not supporting. I'm, I'm fully supportive. I'm, I'm, I'm in support of diversity and integration. OK. Um, yeah. Sure. Hold on. Let's just, let's just hold on a minute. Let's wait for the microphone. Could you just introduce yourself um, as well once you have the mic? Hi, um, I'm Eve. I'm spokesperson from the LGBTI side yep. at the University of Westminster. Um, just a question. Um, wasn't the Call Me Kuchu Black History Month screening cancelled? Um, no, that wasn't cancelled. It was another event that got cancelled. Okay. Which one was that? It was the... Um, it was a debate. I can't recall them. It was a, it was a debate. Okay. Okay. Maybe um, you could catch up with Eve over sure. Twitter yeah. uh, later. Okay. Um, Renu, have you got any points that you would like to come back on about this feedback system? About students receiving feedback? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, one thing I outlined in my manifesto was... I'm not going to put a date of three weeks or any other kind of window time-wise on that. Isn't there already a, a, a yes, deadline there is. within Yes, there is. Uh, I think it's, it's not, not for all course. It depends when coursework is submitted, but, yeah, I've heard about something in, in, in that area. Um, I, what, what I propose in the context of coursework feedback is not all teachers provide written feedback. Um, one thing that some module members of some uh, members of staff for some modules certainly at Cavendish do is they use essay feedback sheets which sort of provides you with structured feedback so, so you think it needs to be more structured that should be encouraged to be something that is propagated into all other modules at Cavendish so that all students get written feedback because for some students especially if you get if you only get a 2-1 and you'd like a first or you get a 2-2 and you'd certainly like to get a 2-1 at least uh, to have some written feedback would be helpful Okay, we are going to open up the uh, questions to the floor. Does anyone have any questions in the room? How is Twitter looking? Um, we've got a generic Twitter question on Twitter. 
asking uh, the campaign that you've mentioned is fantastic. However, what about the spo social space on campus or a potential removal of the SU office? Okay, let's. Um, we'll start with Isman actually. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so it was. So can you repeat the question, please? Um, the campaign you've mentioned is fantastic. What about the social space on campus? Any potential removal of the SU office? Okay, we'll start with the social space. Um, social space is a uh, big issue within the Cavendish campus. Um, I'm working with the Dean and I'm on the board for the architects who are looking into the social space and finding a located space within the Cavendish campus, which is the ground for registry, which is looking to um, be worked on the, during the summer. Um, with regard to the removal of the SU office, SU office will, rem will remain in, in there because it serves students, it serves a purpose. Uh, students come in the office if they need help, so I think it will remain. It will be, um, uh, there's been talks about it maybe being removed and being moved into the social space, so it's more integrated for students to um, come towards. Where, where would you expect this social space to um, be? In current talks now with the Dean and with the, um, the architect team, it's going to be on the ground floor registry, which will be moved to the first floor. Okay, is this, this confirmed? Um, this is in talks at the moment, I'll be on the board um, to sort of discuss How that. long do you reckon it would There's take? planned work over the summer to take place. When okay, planned building work. Yeah. Okay. Um, right, I'll take this question to Ranu. Is social, place, uh, social space a problem for students yes. at Cavendish? Yes, it is. I mean, I'm obviously I'm in my final year, and it's not a very, uh, from a social perspective, friendly campus. Uh, Marylebone is more recreational. Harrow is certainly more recreational. Um, one thing that I uh, pledged also in my ca uh, manifesto is more live events, more recreational events. E even in the context of maybe things that certain, maybe Harrow Campus has uh, bean bags. We don't, we could get those in, we could make space for them. But also make the campus more recreational. There are a lot of students at our university who are talented in singing and songwriting. Bring them in to perform. I've also contacted... So Coffee. more students taking part and showcasing... In making the campus more recreational. And more, uh, and more okay. saying what they'd like to see in the okay, campus Okay, this well. is a question for both the candidates. Um, one of you is... Say, yes, uh, uh, carries on from the recreational mm -hmm. events. One of you is saying that we have too little recreational events and you want to me, increase yeah. this. And, Usman, you're saying that these events need to be... Um, promoted better on social media. Um, so which one is it? Do we have enough events or are they just not being advertised enough? Um, back to the point of me saying better advertised, that was with regard to society events of the smaller societies. Um, I think it does play advertisements. I think uh, posters are sometimes <coughs> missed by students who are quite busy and they don't sort of they see a hundred posters on the wall and they kind of miss them. So it's a, it's a combination of two things. Um, I have the SSA and we've done a variety of events over the year to sort of integrate the campus and just get the campus a bit more active. Okay, um, Rani, how, how would you respond in answer to this? Your, in answer to your question, I'll say both. Uh, it's not just that there aren't enough events. Uh, it, when there are events, they're not promoted enough. And not necessarily all of them, because we have one that's coming up, National Student Pride, next week. Uh, for which I'm a live blog producer, so there is obviously a pr huge amount of prom promotion going on in that area. But just essentially getting more um, having more recreational events on campus, making it more student friendly and raising its visibility. That's why I've contacted coffee house ses sessions so that they could come in. Uh, that's why I've also spoken to the station manager for Smoke Radio because they'd like to see more performances in communal areas just to raise the visibility. Okay, so um, is anyone in the audience like to comment on the social space in Cavendish? Do you do you see anything happening anytime soon? What would be your recommendations for? The, uh, the candidate uh, who does get elected. Have we got a question from Twitter? We do. We have a question for Ranu about uh, the recreational space, about where will the money come from for all the furniture and where would it go? Um, I, each sabbatical officer has a budget. From what I've been told by the current deputy returning officer, that budget may very well change for, for sabbatical officers in, in the coming academic year. So in terms of the costs and where they would come from, it would come from the union. How does the funding work? I'm not entirely sure, but the current sabbatical officer probably knows more so about that. So there could that. be issues with funding. Um, Usman, what do you have to say to this? Um, yes, as I'm a current SAB, I'm aware of the funding that our SABs get. Um, I believe this current funding, that we, the budget that we have available would not suffice um, the new social space. I think How would you expect to get the it money? It would be a collaboration between the University of Westminster and a great way for us to, sort of to work together on pro uh, work together with the social space and for students to be much more integrated into that social space. So the university and the union need to work together to be able exactly, to do yeah. it. 
Okay, um, has anyone on the floor got any more questions? We've got one question at the top. Could you just introduce yourself, please, before you start? Yeah, uh, um, I'm Ryan Brown, and I'd just like to ask uh, Usman, particularly uh, as regards uh, funding. Um, apparently, the, the SU does receive a million pound budget every single year, so wouldn't it be nice to know where that money is being spent? And I, I don't see how that isn't enough to cover things like social spaces. So where is the million pound budget being spent? Sure. Um, you have to be aware that this million pound budget is taking um, place and it's um, being um, spent on our societies and our sports teams and our, it's not just <laughs> a million pounds that we really need. For, we, we invest it into our societies, our sports teams, our captains and our way days. And um, we have our staff team as well, part-time staff and full-time staff. So students who want to be, can be um, earned while they learn, essentially. They're, so working for the student union, our receptionists who get um, skills and we offer in that way. We do have nights out for events, we have excursions, that sort of thing. Rani, how do you think, do you think this money could be spent better? Yes. Uh, I just want to ask Usman, what's the current budget for, for societies? Um, that can vary from society and they, are, um, they have to justify their, their, their budget that they would require. Okay. Um, and Brian, just to uh, be more direct, um, in terms of the funding, what's making it increasingly more difficult and challenging is on a relatively recent meeting I had with the Dean, the Faculty Student Forum, which Usman is also a, uh, has a seat in, um, the costs of certain schemes that the university is involved in, like 24-7 library opening times, is costing nearly half a million pounds. And that is a cost that in the last few years alone has increased by nearly 20,000 pounds. And so that's going to increase, and obviously when I was at the Faculty Student Forum, we're trying to find some kind of leeway as to how we can save money, which we can use in other areas, whether it's in the context of recreational events, having the monetary means to facilitate these things, um, and, and, or other, other aspects of the university. Um, and whilst I put forward the opportunity to have maybe some kind of rotoring opening hours so that university library, so that campus libraries are still open 24-7, even though I, I put this forward, which would save thousands of pounds indefinitely, the current sabbatical officer disagreed with me on that particular point. Okay, we'll stop you there, um, Usman. Oh. Just one last uh, comment from you on this. Okay. Um, uh, with the library being 24 hours, it's incumbent for students. Um, the money that's being spent is from Westminster. It's not a student union budget. So, therefore, if the money was saved, it would be limiting students who, um, need, who have 10 a.m. The ten deadlines are 10 a.m., so it limits the students to when they want to work. If they've got work commitments, if they've got families, they need the 24-hour library. So closing is not an option at all. That is, we've we worked, um, the previous sub, the current sub team and the previous sub team, for the past four years have worked hard to get 24-hour library, and throwing away, it's just, it, it doesn't make sense, because us, we're here to serve the students. We're here to serve you as the student. Thank we're, you, Usman. Um, if you would like to carry on the debate over Twitter, please do so using the hashtag UWSUVote. Um, that's all from uh, the Cavendish uh, candidates. So we've got Usman Mahmood, <coughs> the current vice president, and running against him uh, is Ranu Ashu Aso Rashid. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much.